Hello coders, this is Jared with Renaissance Coders and in this video we are going to add in our separation behavior into our 2D flocking AI project in Unity. Now before we do that, let's quickly take a look at where we're at so far. Okay, as we can see we've got a lot of objects spawning and they're all sort of joining this really big group here. Kind of forming like a big snake looking thing almost, which is pretty cool. Once they get close enough they should try to join the group. It looks like this group is going to start trying to join itself here. Pretty cool stuff. Okay, let's go ahead and stop that. Now again, in this video, we are going to be working primarily within the member script. So let's go ahead and open that up. So the new function that we need to add is actually a separation function. We're gonna add that directly beneath our alignment function. Below the alignment function, we're just gonna add two spaces and create a new function that returns a vector three, and we can call this separation. And basically what this function is going to do is it is going to steer our member in the opposite direction from each of our nearby neighbors. Okay, so now let's go ahead and create a new vector three here, and we can just call this separate vec, or let's call it separate vector. And we're gonna set it equal to a new vector three. Okay, and once again, we're going to get all of our neighbors. So we're going to say var members is equal to level dot get neighbors. We're gonna pass in this as our member, and we're gonna pass in a conf dot separation radius. Now we need to actually check the count of members. So we're going to say if members dot count, oops, forgot the S, is equal to zero, then we are just going to return our separate vector. Okay, if we did happen to find some members within our radius, then we need to iterate over those members. So we're going to create a for each loop here. And inside of our for each loop, we're gonna say var member and members. The next thing we want to do is check if is in FOV and we're going to pass in our member dot position here. What we actually want to do is find a vector that is basically towards our current member. So we're going to say vector three moving towards. And we're going to set this equal to this dot position minus our member dot position. The next thing we want to do is actually check the magnitude of our moving towards vectors. So we are going to say if moving towards dot magnitude is greater than zero, then we're going to update our separate vector. So separate vector plus equals moving towards dot normalized divided by our moving towards dot magnitude. Okay, pretty simple stuff. Now outside of our for each loop, we just need to return our separate vector dot normalized. And now let's go ahead and save that. Now let's actually go up to our update function here and change out combine for separation. Let's go back out to our scene now and let's click on our level game object. We do need to update the separation radius and separation priority. So let's go ahead and put in some values for those. For my separation radius, I'm just going to use a value of, let's say, 6 initially. And for my priority, I'm going to use a value of 90 again. Now let's go ahead and save our scene, and let's play it just to see what happens. And basically, all we should see happening are a bunch of objects trying to stay away from one another. And it looks like our separation radius is not high enough yet. I mean, we are seeing a lot of disparity between them. You know, they're trying to stay a certain distance from one another. And they're moving slowly just because we're not using the priority or combining all the functions together yet. I don't think some of these that are in the middle will ever move because basically what they're doing is checking and they're saying, oh wow, I'm surrounded. So, you know, that's pretty cool that we have, that we can do that. But let's go ahead and stop this now. Let's go back out to our member script and we're gonna change the update function to use combine again. We're gonna go down to our combine function now and add in the new variables that we need. So we are again going to plus our comp dot separation priority multiplied by our separation function. Now let's go ahead and save this and go back out to our scene. Now let's press play again to see what happens. Okay, we can immediately see that they're forming two large groups again and it looks like our separation Radius is not quite high enough, so let's up that a little bit. Let's go to like 10, or right at 10. Because I did enhance the scale of the objects. So let's go, let's just make it really big and go 20 and see what happens. So I, I updated it to 20, and now we can see that it's forming a much larger group now. So I kind of like the way 10 looked a little better, you know, where it's forming the smaller groups like this. 
I'm not a big fan of how they're piling on top of one another, but that's okay. Okay, now let's go ahead and stop this one. In our next video, we are going to add in the avoidance radius and priority and the avoidant functionality, as well as our enemy script. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, thanks for watching.